Have you ever encountered a fractional time signature with a partial b of one-third in the top number? How do you count that? In this lesson, I'll be walking you through on how to count six and one-third over four. So stick around. Hello, I'm Donnie Bell, and welcome to Math Drumming. Every week we upload new videos that push the boundaries of drumming in odd meters, irrational rhythms, polyrhythms, grids, and today's video, fractional time signatures. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today's video comes from Kualito who asks, how do you count a group of six and one-third beats? Fractional time signatures are time signatures containing in the top number a partial beat, such as one-fourth, one-half, or in this case, one-third. They come in handy when modulating, phasing, or flipping the beat. When counting a fractional time signature, the easiest and most effective way is to think of it as a simplified version of an additive meter, or a pattern of beats that subdivide into smaller irregular groupings. Okay, but what exactly does that mean? Similar to how we would convert a polyrhythm into an additive rhythm, we need to first determine the least common multiple of 2 and 3. Based on their relationship with the quarter note, indicated by the bottom number of the time signature, we know that 2 represents a half beat subdivision, in this case, the eighth note, whereas 3 represents a one-third beat subdivision, or a triplet. So, just as you would go about obtaining the least common multiple in math class, I did the same thing and multiplied 2 by 3 to get 6. This is the number of subdivisions needed per quarter note in the additive meter. We then multiply our answer by the total number of beats, or 6 and one-third, to get 38. Now, the significance of 38 is that it represents the total number of subdivisions in this new additive meter. Our next step is to create a table that represents both the eighth notes and the triplets, like so. This will allow us to accurately time the counting by visualizing both the subdivisions for each quarter note and the partial B at the end of the measure. Here's how I would count it out. One triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, five triplet and triplet, six triplet and triplet, seven trip, one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, five triplet and triplet, six triplet and triplet, seven trip. After a few repetitions of counting it out slowly, you'll soon be able to speed up the tempo and eventually rely more on the feel than just the counting itself. So there you have it. If you found this lesson to be helpful, please share it with a friend. If you have another method of counting fractional time signatures, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep counting and don't stop drumming.